10 Deadliest Prehistoric Animals The world is full of amazing, powerful, and terrifying animals. However, it may interest you to know that more terrifying animals may have walked the Earth's surface. The first animal that comes to mind has to be dinosaurs, with names like the fearsome T-Rex and the lethal Allosaurus. But that's not the only thing to know about extinct animals. More lethal, terrifying, creepy, and bloodthirsty animals once roamed the Earth. So let's see together which are the 10 deadliest prehistoric creatures that lived on our planet. Number 10. Mosasaur Mosasaur lived in the Cretaceous period 90 to 66 million years ago and could grow up to 45 feet 14 meters long. The gigantic ocean-dwelling predator has become more prevalent in popular culture, to the point where it was featured in the 2015 movie blockbuster Jurassic World. It went extinct millions of years before the megalodon appeared, so the two never had to compete for ocean dominance. One can only imagine what a clash between these titans would have looked like. As it stands, the mosasaurs like the T-Rex were only concerned with their own kind. A mosasaur fossil was discovered with a baby mosasaur inside, indicating that the species was cannibalistic. Number 9. Dana Suchus The word Dana in Dana Suchus comes from the same root as dino in dinosaur and means frightful or terrible. In this instance, the description is accurate. Danasuchus was one of the world's largest prehistoric crocodiles, reaching lengths of up to 33 feet 10 meters from head to tail. Indeed, until the discovery of the truly monstrous Sarcosuchus, 40 feet long and up to 15 tons, this late Cretaceous reptile was thought to be the largest crocodile that ever lived. Aside from its massive size, Danasuchus was remarkably similar to modern crocodiles, demonstrating how little the crocodilian line of evolution has changed in the last 100 million years. Number 8. Liopleurodon Liopleurodon was a marine reptile that lived between 160 and 150 million years ago, during the Middle Jurassic period. Three fossilized teeth discovered in France in 1873 were the first evidence that this creature existed. Liopleurodon images represent these reptiles as ferocious, and they very well could have been. They were about 30 feet, 10 meters long, indicating that they were an apex predator in the oceans at the time. It wasn't just its great size, however, that made this reptile dangerous. It was also the fact that it had a five-foot-long skull that was filled with razor-sharp teeth designed to tear through flesh, bone, and muscle. Number 7. Andrusarchus Andrusarchus mongoliensis was a mammalian mesonicid predator. This large, wolf-like mammal lived during the Eocene period, approximately 45 to 36 million years ago. It walked on four short legs, had a long body, a long tail, and hoofed toes on its feet. It had a long snout with large, sharp teeth and flat cheek teeth that could have crushed bones. Because Andrusarchus is only known from a skull and a few other bones, it is unclear whether it was an active predator or merely a large scavenger, and its exact time range is unknown. Number 6. Woolly Mammoth Woolly Mammoth, also known as Northern Mammoth or Siberian Mammoth, is an extinct species of elephant found in Pleistocene and Holocene epoch fossil deposits in Europe, Northern Asia, and North America from about 2.6 million years ago to the present. The woolly mammoth was famous for its enormous size, thick fur, and imposing tusks. Woolly mammoths thrived during the Pleistocene ice ages, but died out as much of their habitat was lost as the Earth's climate warmed in the aftermath of the last ice age. Although there are no first-hand accounts of humans interacting with mammoths, we do know that they did. There are approximately 300 cave paintings and ivory carvings of mammoths from their time of existence. 
There are also evidence that humans hunted and butchered mammoths. A wounded mammoth, of course, would have been extremely dangerous and aggressive towards its tormentors. Otherwise, we can only speculate that mammoth behavior was comparable to that of modern elephants. Number 5. T-Rex This Cretaceous carnivore needs no introduction, being the most famous of the prehistoric predators. They lived 90 to 66 million years ago. The T-Rex's most lethal weapon was its extremely powerful bite, which was powerful enough to crush a car. It also had a sense of smell comparable to bloodhounds. The long-running debate over whether the T-Rex was a hunter or scavenger has been settled by fossil evidence. Unlike Godzilla, this iconic movie monster was real. T-Rex had an impressive height of about 13 feet 4 meters. Number 4. Spinosaurus Spinosaurus was discovered on Earth between 193 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period. His height was impressive, reaching 22 feet 7 meters. As more information has become available, the Spinosaurus has surpassed the T Rex as the largest known land dwelling carnivore. That's not to say it couldn't have fought the tyrant king. The Spinosaurus bite was powerful, but not as powerful as the T-Rex's. It also lacked a keen sense of smell. But because the two existed at different times and in different places, we'll never know which one would have dominated the food chain. The Spinosaurus's skull is long and narrow, with nostrils near the eyes, similar to that of a crocodile. It inhabited both water and land like the crocodile and may have hunted similarly, lurking beneath the surface of the water and snatching unsuspecting prey from the shore. The spinal sail, for which it is named, serves no purpose. Like peacock feathers during courtship, it could have been used to absorb heat, intimidate prey or even impress potential mates. Number 3. Titanoboa Around 30 fossils were discovered in the coal mines of Colombia in 2009. The remains of giant snakes that once inhabited the Kerejon Formation in the middle to late Paleocene era, 60 to 58 million years ago. Millions of years ago, a tropical rainforest grew where the open pit coal mines now stand. Rivers crisscrossed the region and the Titanoboa's size indicates that it would have spent most of the time in the water, their length reaching from 39 to 48 feet, 12 to 14 meters. The rivers contained an abundance of prey for the snake, which was large enough to feed on crocodiles, giant turtles, and lungfish. Number 2. Sabre-toothed Tiger the saber-toothed tiger, Smilodon, is an extinct predatory mammal in the Felidae family, known for its distinctive pair of long, razor-sharp canine teeth. The saber-toothed tiger, one of the most iconic prehistoric animals, lived during the last ice age, 12,000 years ago. A saber-toothed tiger is distinguished by a pair of long canines that can grow up to 8 inches in length, allowing it to inflict deep stabbing wounds. Carnivorous saber-toothed tigers hunted bison, camel, horses, young mammoths, mastodons, extinct hairy elephants, and ground sloths, among other large herbivores. Number 1. Megalodon The Megalodon lived in the early Miocene era, 23 to 15 million years ago, to the Pliocene era, 5 to 3 million years ago. Its length was between 49 to 59 feet, 15 to 18 meters. Giant fossilized teeth from a shark large enough to hunt whales have been discovered all over the world without help from other sharks. The megalodon, like today's great white sharks, was at the top of the food chain. Nothing could hope to stand a chance against this terrifying sea monster. It is thought to have become extinct due to global cooling around 3.6 million years ago, which resulted in habitat loss 
and the extinction or migration of many marine animals on which the megalodon preyed. As an offering to the gods, the ancient Maya would leave fossilized megalodon teeth at their altars. The same teeth may have inspired Mayan legends of a sea monster named Sipek. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.